Hey everybody, it's Valerie. Back to do just a quick reveal with the prize candle. Not going to get too much into it. Um, I should have a, if you want to know more about them and, and kind of how I felt about them, please go watch my first impression video on them. And um, I should have the uh, pumpkin spice uh, video up before this one. So I'm not going to get too much into the details. Um, basically they're $24.99, nine ounce, um, they say soy candle, but again, I'm, go watch my first impression video, not gonna rehash what I just went through on the other video. Um, so anyway, with this one, they don't really have a smell, okay, like cold throw, I bought the Tahitian vanilla, the pumpkin spice, the creme brulee, the chocolate truffle, um, the Tahitian vanilla, this one right here, it had the strongest cold throw out of all of them. So I was really excited thinking, yes, it's going to smell. My personal opinion, I have it in a bedroom. My bedroom's not too big, um, but I can't smell it. I mean, like if you're right on top of it, perhaps, but I really cannot smell it. Um, the other thing is the moment I put it on the warmer, um, it like liquefied within about 30, 40 minutes, which again, go watch my other video because I talk about how I don't really, it's my personal opinion. I don't really think they're a hundred percent soy. Um, and you'll have to watch my other video for that. Um, soy has a higher melting point than paraffin and this thing turned to liquid. I mean, quick. So, um, and the other thing that concerned me was, and I want to, and I'll talk about it in every video. They use a plastic bag. In my other one, I had it lit, like I had lit this one for a little bit, trying to get a, um, trying to get a warm throw out of it, um, just to see before I melted it, and I really didn't get one. Um, I had one going on the last video, and it caught fire, and actually engulfed in flat, like, phew, and I had to, like, put it out. So, if you're going to burn these, please monitor your candle, like, with your prize in there, because it... It could have been really, really, really dangerous, and um, I don't really like the plastic bag. I, I don't think that that was a smart idea whatsoever, um, and I don't like that. <laughs> I mean, because a lot of times I leave them going in my room, and I'm in and out, but I'm not, like, on top, you know, like, babysitting it, because um, most of them have, like, foil or... Uh, like, Hidden Treasure, they have a really neat, like, foil vacuum-sealed pouch, so... That's really, really cool. Hold on. Let me see if it'll angle this down. So I'm here for you guys. Um, so just be really, really careful if you're going to do a prize candle. Um, I just, it really, really scared me actually because I was sitting here in between filming some posts because I was doing a little bit of research on <laughs> this type of wax they use. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, you'll see that again in my other video. But... Uh, yeah, it like caught on fire. And I was like, well, thankfully I was sitting right there. So that was a good thing. Now, the one thing I do like about them is that inside, not only do you get um, a ring, uh, they give you a piece of paper to go validate the price uh, on their website. I mean, all I've ever seen is $10 rings. Uh, Y'all know. I mean, I'm not really expecting much more than that. I think I just got the same ring my friend Lauren got, except she got hers in green. It's cute, though. Um, so, I've noticed that if you get this code, and I'll just break y'all's heart now, that says 98786. I don't even have to enter it. It's what my last one was. It means it's a $10 ring, so I don't even need to go put it in. It's really cute, though. That's the one thing I could say. Like, I don't really like their candles, and I they don't smell if I'm buying it for the candle point of view, it's a waste of money and it's way too much money for the size candle that it is. But I will tell you that I have gotten the most pretty rings out of their candles. Like, I'll give it to them. You know, I'm not afraid to to uh, point out the good and the bad. So, look, it's really, ugh, it's got this wax on it. Um, Really, really pretty, like dark purple. Give me just a sec. Let's see. Not that I would think it would be marked, but, you know, let's check it out anyway. Nope. Not marked. Just covered in wax. All right. Can y'all see it? Let's see if it fits. Our last one was a little tight. Ooh, what? I can get it on. 
fat girl status achieved. Look. What? Chunky fingers. It bit. I really like this ring. Like, if it don't turn my finger green, best believe I'm going to be wearing this ring out and about. So, the one thing I will say about them, because I am very fair, like... I'll break my, the way I work is I do the video um, for the candle part and the jewelry part. Candle part, terrible. Uh, jewelry part, fantastic. I mean, I like their, I like their rings. Uh, I think they're really, really cute. Um, most of them have a large stone from what I've seen, which I love. If you don't like that, well, don't buy one because that's what I see a lot of people get. Um, it's really cute, almost like a rope braid and really dark, pretty purple stone. I will definitely be wearing this ring. And uh, I love it. So there it is. Tahitian Vanilla Candle. The other two I will be, it's their Valentine Candles. The Creme Brulee and the Chocolate Truffle. I have a, everyone's been asking me, like, why haven't you burned your Valentine's Day candles yet? I'm going to tell you. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek, okay? So one, it's not Valentine's yet. And I have an agreement with my husband that since he's been slowly letting me buy all these and there's going to be a lot of them that I wouldn't burn them yet because that is my Valentine's Day gift from him. Um, it's a lot of money he has spent. And um, we have been married for almost 12 years. And yes, we're young. I'm 28. Um, go ahead and do the math. We've been married since I was 17. We never really celebrated Valentine's um, before because we've always put our kids first. We've just recently gotten to where we have, um, you know, we started doing that. And when he asked what I wanted, I said... I have this idea for a big video coming up and I need um, all these Valentine candles. And he was like, he agreed. So um, that's kind of why you haven't seen me burn them yet. I have them, my hidden treasure, my diamond candles. I have the prize candle ones. I have some coming from jewelry and candles. Like I can't even remember. I have one coming from sweet smells and trinkets. <laughs> I want to say there's one more. I probably just can't even think about right now. But um, you guys will see all of these candles coming up very soon, I promise. And you will definitely see the jewelry that I get out of them. And um, I'm really disappointed, honestly, in, in the prize candles. I really, every time I order from someone, I get so excited. I want to like them really, really bad. I really do. But at the end of the day, the only reason I started my YouTube channel was not only for me and my daughter Hannah, because we really enjoyed it. Um, it is because a lot of us are on a budget, okay? And I know that all you girls and guys out there are working hard for your money. And I would never tell you guys to go buy a candle that I would not lie just so that I can post this on Prize Candles Facebook page and say, oh, look, I did a review. Come like it. No, no, I don't work like that. I don't get paid to do it. Um, they probably aren't going to like what I have to say, but that's okay because it's my opinion. You know, and there was an, uh, another company that I didn't care for either. And I would never tell any of you guys to go buy their candles. So just know that my channel is not about, it's not about being fake. Like, I will tell you if I liked it or I didn't like it. And I'll tell you what, what the reasons why I didn't like them. So for this, you know, for this candle, it just doesn't have a smell. It's too expensive. Um, if you watch my first impression, the way they pack them is kind of ridiculous. I see a lot of complaints on their Facebook page, which to me, if you own a business and I, I have, um, you have to listen to your customers and it kind of shows me that in a way they're almost ignoring their customers and I don't like that. You know, you really have to listen to your customers. So for all those reasons in particular, and the fact that I don't think these are 100% soy, you have to watch my other video to see. Um, soy doesn't solidify quickly. Um, like, see on here? That's their wax. Soy wouldn't have done that. I have a towel sitting right over, right over here <clears throat> that I wipe everything on. And, um, yeah. And you'll also see... Like on the side of the candle, like see how it's solidified where the melter hasn't gotten it. And again, you'll have to watch my other video for that. And to me, I kind of felt like um, that that information is not on their site. And uh, for me, I don't like paraffin candles. I actually burn my candles. This is an odd method for me. I normally don't do this. But in this case, I did because I didn't want to have to go through the mess I went through in my last video. But um, I will do paraffin like little uh, tarts. I don't have a problem with those because you're not, you're not actually like burning them. Okay, you're just melting. But um, 
I will not burn paraffin candles in my home anymore. You know, they are um, made from, I believe it's oil or whatever, and it's a non-renewable resource. Once we use it all, guys, it's gone. It's not coming back. Whereas soy, we can grow it. Everything we use, we can replace. So for that reason, you know, I have decided to switch to soy. And I was a little bit upset that I felt like I don't really have 100% soy candles sitting here. So, um... And again, that's just my personal opinion, and with the with the evidence that I had in my last video, which made me believe that it's probably a blended candle. I think it has some soy in it. I can tell it's not 100% paraffin, so let me clarify that. It, it does have soy in it, it's just not a true soy candle, in my opinion. But, anyway, um... I just kind of wanted to reiterate on that. Um, so, you know, you guys always tell y'all this, you know, try them out for yourself. See what you guys think. Um, this is just my opinion and how I feel on it. Uh, will I be purchasing again? No, not unless they have like a really awesome clearance because they do have some banging jewelry. So I will be buying it for the jewelry. Will definitely not be buying for the candle. Um, I would buy this as a gift for somebody. Um, I would do that if they didn't really have a preference over soy or paraffin, if they're just an everyday person who doesn't know the difference. I think it's a fantastic gift to give someone because um, their, their rings are super cute, you know. So I will give them that. So you guys have great jewelry. Thank you for that. <laughs> anyway, so kind of sad to leave the video on a sad note like that because I'm disappointed, but you might not be. You might actually get it and love it. Um, so, you know, go try them out. You know, see what you guys think. A lot of a lot of y'all that follow me have already tried them. And so we're all kind of on the same page about it. But I really enjoy this ring. And you'll see the last two prize candles coming up in my uh, secret video that's coming up that I'm really excited about. So I will see you gals in my next video. Bye, you guys.